D Hop, I'm expecting big things from. I think D Hop. I know you like Calvin Ridley. We'll get into this kind of Calvin Ridley D Hop debate a little bit, but D Hop is still such an efficient. His wingspan, his catch radius is so good yeah, that for young quarterbacks that have big arms that just are going to be are going to be gunslingers, he's the perfect wide receiver for it because he's going to get open, he's going to get separation, he still has the speed to break it, uh, but he's going to be a volume play. Yeah. Now I love the addition with Calvin Ridley. I love what it does for Calvin Ridley's value, and I love what it does for giving kind of protection to D Hop, where you can't double cover him every play of the game. Yeah, well, I mean, that, we I saw that. I think is going to still be the guy there. I think he's so talented, and not outside of a PPR perspective, I think he finishes above Calvin Ridley in both PPR and standard formats. I think he's not only going to be a, a, a volume receiver, but he's going to be a guy that's going to get touchdowns, and he's going to get multiple touchdowns. I think Calvin Ridley just has a, a he has a throughout his career. He has a way to fade away from games. He has these big blow-up games, almost like Devonta Smith, but but like less than him. Well, Devonta Smith, we'll talk about the Eagles. Devonta Smith is is, is you you break down his thing, his games, his big games were without uh, uh, really any other pass catchers on the field. With no, that's when, not every, true. Every time, every time not, Goddard's been hurt last season, when Goddard was hurt, he, it was it was a show, and then he faded away. That's not true. For the majority of the season, it's not it's not true. Uh, it's it's the, the the point I'm making with that is that it's he's either getting all of it or he's getting none of it. Yeah, and and that's kind of Calvin Ridley when he was in Atlanta. Even last year, you know, he was getting all of it. You saw these huge blow up games where he was getting hyper targeted, and then just games where he just wasn't targeted at all. Well, I, I also I mean, like, he had a game last year where he didn't get targeted. Yeah, well, I also take some of that with a grain of salt too. With with some of the games with Ridley, there he had some bad drops. He also did have some throws that were, you but get drops, the second drops you, are targets. You set you get the second foot in, like, and the, I get those zero target. But I'm just saying in general, I think Ridley's season also would have been even better on a couple different plays. He has a couple more touchdowns because in the red zone he had a or an end zone he was targeted a lot. I I only reason I like Ridley is because of what Will Levis brings to the table with his arm. And and that and that's what it is. I think he opens up the field, which is going to help out Hopkins. And and listen. You can flip flop either way. I like Ridley. You like Hopkins. I think both guys are going to have successful seasons. And ADP and wise, are going pretty similar anyway. Not in the draft we just did, though. Not in the well, draft we did. Two, they were two rounds apart. Yeah, two rounds apart. I think they should be a lot closer. I think so too. I think they should be almost neck and neck with each other because of the opportunities. Um, I think people every year, you know, as receivers get older, you know, they start people start just fading away from them. But look at what like Thielen did. And Thielen isn't half the receiver. 175 that. targets to, to uh, Devontae Adams. I mean, like, the, right. the, so, and he like, still and, blew and, it up. And D-Hop's talent is so far above yeah. Thielen. He's up there. I mean, people forget how good he is. Like, he is a freak. We're not, we're not talking about an Odo Beckham situation here. Like, yeah. we're talking about the guy who's still, the, like, it's like Devontae Adams. He's still the number one guy there. Right. But I still think that Calvin Ridley's talent and the wheels aren't falling off on him yet. I think he's finally in a situation where he's going to be happy too as well. Um, he's a second. He's a second year, one more year removed from sitting the bench for years. 